Marble Machine X. Marble Machine X is my chance to do right what went wrong with the first Marble Machine. I'm so excited about this and I have 16 months of experience now building Marble Machines and there's a lot of things going to be different. Three things this year. Making more music, making more machines, making more videos. There are a lot of people calling them videos but that totally ruins the symmetry of my alliteration. So in this video we're gonna stick to media, okay? That was the first marble falling on the floor of the Marble Machine X build. When I built the first marble machine I was vacuum cleaning marbles off the floor and I was on my knees picking them up during 16 months. This time I'm gonna take a more engineer-like approach. I won't have to vacuum clean marbles so much. Thanks for watching. And see you on the next video on Wednesday. Nailed it. These are coasters, cork coasters. This was the snare drum, the same coasters used for the kick drum. Snare drum with rice in it. But we have to come up with something better than, than, than cork which dries out like this. So, bye bye kick drum. <laughs> Why did I do that? I could have saved it for the museum. This marble machine is actually gonna go to a Dutch museum. Very, very likely so. We have not agreed totally yet, but it's gonna go to the museum where I got the inspiration to build it. And I have to build a new coaster since I just ruined this one. Fantastic, Martin! <laughs> Way to go! I was sending an email to them. I was sending like an over-emotional email the other day where I felt like that I felt so lucky to not be by myself this time. Yeah. To hey. have... Hannes was part. Hannes was. <laughs> Vilket svenskt band med rymd inspirerat namn gjorde våren 2016 stor succé med musikvideon Marble Machine. Space Cowboys. Vintergata. Det är knapptryckning igen. Björne, det är det Detection. What's what's a virus? These things gets the flu. <laughs> Martin, this is, that's so old. I made a mistake in the tool path. These holes should not go all the way through. I'm gonna go and correct my mistake and make another one. In all my excitement, I loaded the old faulty file again. <laughs> Wait, I'll do that again. I was there all the time. <laughs> there we go. Top tier. Sailing is not that hard after all. I think this actually, I mean... <laughs> and this is the, my favorite book of all time. It's the Automatische Musikinstrumenten. It's in Dutch. <laughs> So I mostly look at the pictures. <laughs> By the way, I made a mistake the other day and this gear came off the CNC machine looking exactly like this. I think this is exactly what Bob Ross means. We don't make mistakes, we only have happy accidents. I have named him Wilson, and he has already started to talk to me. He's mainly complaining. Anyway, I get sidetracked by Wilson. 
and um, that's Hannes. <laughs> so this is typical, I'm super happy with the gear and then I show it to Marius and he's like, we can do better. <laughs> but so you still think it's going to work then? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> wow, this really feels right now, finally, after two days, Marius. <laughs> Two days on this card. Why does it have to be that hard? <laughs> One more time. Well, we need to work a little bit on it. It doesn't sound so good yet. No. It's going to sound maybe better, we don't know. Look at this. <laughs> it's magnetic. For one second I thought I invented free energy and then I Remember that I believe in physics. The bearing housings turns out so so nice when you completely screw it up. What? Ow! That fell on my foot. So these are all the parts for the programming wheel and expectonoleum. I uh, learned that from Adam Savage and Hermione actually, very useful tool. Yes, I can weld. I can weld. Ah, uh, went too far. Yeah, I broke the main piece. Mm. So, non-magnetic transition wait what's this plywood countersink well this can work wilson what did you make this wilson am i happy with this second version no <laughs> in the Okay, so it's not like a piano, you can't make cool Hammond organ slides. That's all my stuff. I just discovered the first thing that I forgot to pack in the truck. So this disc sander was hiding out. I'm going to try to take it in my personal suitcase. So that was naive of me because now weighing the bag it weighs 44 kilos and I have to leave the disc sander in Sweden. This thing is already heavy. Oh. This didn't end up well. Go away. Yeah, good. Go away. Yeah. You done your job. You can rest now. Okay, this is a big grasshopper on my pile. For a Swede, this is like an alien. I heard you screaming in front of the computers for plaster. I just realized that this t-shirt looks like a starry sky. Maybe this is the first Vintergatan merch for a long time. These animals live from eating thousand grit sandpapers. Now should I make the Matthias Van Gogh test? I had mushroomed the end. The mushroom means when you hit on the end, that's how you make a... Sometimes you can use it as an advantage to make like this... SpaceX are docking to the ISS faster than I get. 
these two things in place. And then the back side fits straight into the grid of the programming wheel. So now we're gonna do the first test with marbles. Art music. Marble drop mechanism prototype, and I have no clue why, but it looks exactly like a locomotive. <laughs> Don't ask. Yeah. Tack it. It's not tacky. Okay. Did I just lose my marbles? <laughs> no, I have one marble left. That's what we're clinging on to. Weekly tips on how to be cool. Buy a cheap caliper and you will feel like an engineer. now is the marbles so let's go over here and look and of course the one box I need is guarded by a demon <laughs> hello my friend can I please take my marbles whoa <laughs> if the marble machine doesn't work I have the most beautiful tool holder of everyone anyway so, DIY tool holder. Nice little project of two years. It's always good with lifts like this to plan them before, like I did. T-minus 30 seconds. Gas loads are complete. Ready for launch. Drilling the counter sinks. Did you see that flash? Power just went out. Thor, do you approve of the counter sinks? Thanks, Thor. So now I need a box for all these. Let's see if we have something. That might work. I think this blade is mounted backwards. <laughs> of all the stupid things I've done on this channel, I put this new blade in and I was like, this new blade doesn't cut well. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this bandsaw sucks.
it's definitely strong enough for the marble machine. Edward programming registrator hands. <laughs> Did I crack something? This thing almost made me give up, but I had... Oh, that's Absolutely welded it on upside down, didn't I? Marble Machine X Mad Max mode. <laughs> the levers for the base section is done and now I just have to add one deciliter of annoying jokes to the video. Like that. Hey, yeah what? Did you see that new kid in town? What? I'm super happy for the milestone, but by the end of the day, it's just a number and I didn't want to make too big deal out of it. Last thing I want is for this to go to my head. My power just went out from this thunderstorm. Thor, are you happy about my pipes? Thank you, Thor. <laughs> Twist and No kickflips on this one. Merci de votre appel et vous prions de bien vouloir patienter. This is the first time in my life I put the tool back on the same place I took it. I just wanted to share that moment with you all. Okay, it's burning. <coughs> Any guess on why I cut the three circles in the middle? Planet Earth has really nothing on me this time. Come on, Lisa, you're eating up my whole memory card. I dropped my guitar in the floor. 
I could then put them together and clamp them on a threaded rod and then I could do some weightlifting. If this countersunk custom M6 washer bearing retaining plate doesn't make your heart beat a little bit faster, maybe you should go to the doctor and see if you have a heart in there. <laughs> Any fashion complaints about my shoes can be sent to complaints at wintergartensprojectmanager.com Dropping the ball and this is where our journey begins. And the fork is good for tuning your instrument. Hello. Let's look at the results. Let's look at the results. Let's take a moment for that to sink in. The Marble Machine X is tight. One of his videos is about him making this workbench and as you can see he's polishing his workbench at least one time per day but actually I feel much more connected to the workbench you have over here in this corner. So we're looking for fluent CAD designers who are fluent in Fusion 360. We're looking for prototypers who can try if a splash rivet symbol actually sounds okay through a contact microphone for example. No, 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 Martin, stop it right there. You're working on your procrastination, remember? La, 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 la. C sharp. Now it's only a huge project to get this off this shaft. So you get it. Can you just please stop? That's going to be complicated. Sorry. Look at that, it's so much more or less stupid. I kind of hate it, it's also kind of funny. Yeah, what did you make today? Yeah, I made a futuristic ugly spider web. Jesus. Nah, this is bad. This is really bad. So this is the first cut ever with this brand new tool bit. I'm really excited to see the finish of the cut. <laughs> uh, well done, Martin. I forgot to change the G code. I thought I was going to find matches, but it was a shaker with rice. <laughs> Have to look for another match box. <laughs> Is it really a mere coincidence that the only area where we combine two different kinds of metals is the area that causes us problems? Isn't it much more likely that galvanic corrosion is behind this? Martin, if you ever get out of here, I need you to do me a favor. Up north, there's this big olive grove, you know it? You just can't miss it. It's on a big slope with a breathtaking view of the mountains in the distance. In that grove, in the shade of an old olive tree, you'll find a big red arrow that has no earthly business being there. There's something buried there I want you to have. Say what the nejo. For me 
to go in and alter parts from this old tone is like having to re-sculpt the David statue. And since I really don't want to mess up the beautiful parts from this old tone, I'm gonna do it really, really carefully. Just kidding, of course. I will, of course, use the angle grinder. Looks like a small grand piano. Now it looks like a Boston Dynamics dog instead. No, no, no. I have to go in straight. Ah, did I miss my chance? Come on, Wilson. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. This is not what I had planned. Clean as a whistle. <laughs> Welcome to Vintercotton Wednesday. Today we have made a rose. <laughs> the stopping locomotive sounds wonderful. Drop that one. Another thing I learned from Matthias Vandel. Don't be shy of taking the glue stick out. I've been just working in this room and I see the seasons pass. Now it's winter again, I can't believe it. <sighs> But anyway, me and Wilson are together going to attack this once and for all. Slay this dragon. These sheets were laser cut. Two size for us, so it's super nice. Except we gave them the wrong size. <laughs> I have a micrometer now, which officially makes me twice as cool than before. <laughs> I broke the tool bit. Look, it's a picture perfect flamingo. Boom. I'm tempted to do a ham on organ slide right now, but that would cut up my fingers. <laughs> like, you know, when you end the song, and then the singer jumps, and the drummer goes crazy on the cymbals before the singer lands. I, mean, I can do that on the marble machine now. And to make it easier to bend these into a tight radius without having them cracking up, you can use heat or water. And that gave me an idea. And I experimented a little bit with my batch of Dragon Tears. And Dragon Tears has the perfect combination of both heat and water. 
So now I need something to hold these down. I tried filling the iron with water at first, but using dragon tears I get much more power in the steam. I'm gonna drench this thing in wood glue. <laughs> Stardust. This sandpaper is gone. We've been using it for metal for too long. Oh, so that's what this tool does. I have ordered guitar lacquer because I'm actually gonna finish these pieces. It's the first time you will ever see me finish anything. <laughs> Awesome! The things you have in your shed, right? I think this is a brilliant example on how much better the Marble Machine X is compared to the first machine. This kind of progression is actually happening everywhere in the machine. <laughs> yes! I've learned something. Only took me three years. Conan O'Brien, you can resend that email. <laughs> So when you're debranding your mini sizzle symbols, you might want to try dragon tears if you have at home. And look at that shine. So here again is the DIY built ring roller machine that JD built on rainfall projects that he used to bend the square tubing for the back X bracing. To bend the front X bracing I came up with a simplified method actually. So I used a wooden block and I used a second wooden block placed on a very specific distance away from the first wooden block on the ground. I used my feet carefully applying pressure in the middle of the bar. And voila, you can see already we're getting a curve from that stock. So I built in full adjustability in this method by adding some more wooden blocks and look at that curve. It's getting more and more curvy. Here is a refined version of the method. It is, <laughs> if you subscribe to Rainfall Projects, you get this. If you subscribe to Wintergatan, you get this. Pick your poison. People gonna think this is CGI. Perfect collaboration with a perfect result. And the best thing of all is that I am not the only one making new friends through this collab. Something very special appeared through JD's plasma cutter and it's already Wilson's best friend. I thought Wilson was obnoxious, but this piece of work is worse. Rivet symbol sound check. The most riveting content on YouTube. The eight rivets. Tada! Oh, sorry. Tada! <laughs> it's so awful. Only one thing left to do. Give me some distortion. <laughs> I really wished I had them here so we could sound check these symbols. Nice! And there I lost my patience with the splash symbols. <laughs> now I understand why they're called splash symbols. It's because of the sound they make when I throw them into the Mediterranean. <laughs> Ta-da! 
So, me and Wilson and Wilson's best friend are super happy with this new part. Look how happy we are. <laughs> We need the musical timing clutch. Perfect combination. I bet you're all just waiting for the click, don't you? <laughs> Another tip I picked up from welding tips and tricks is to keep the hot filler rod inside the argon flow to protect it from becoming contaminated by the oxygen in the air. And the resulting weld is a 2 out of 10. <laughs> Let's move down and look at this. Safety feature springs back at high tempos. To solve this, I'm gonna work with my new favorite material, spring steel. Let's put a kick drum to that. Okay, I'm running down to the CNC machine to freehand cut this block. Can you check up on Wilson? And evil Wilson <laughs> in the meanwhile. Thank you. Behave now. Perfect. I think I added 0.2 millimeters on each side. <laughs> it's getting there. Slowly but steadily, it's getting there. Do you think I can hit the Hyatt first try with the drumstick? Pure Jedi skills. First try. <laughs> How do you do this by yourself? Uh, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take this extra part away from here, which means that Tim Keller will now join the club of extremely skilled machinists who have sent me a perfect part only to having to sit at home and watch me taking an angle grinder to it. <laughs> I decided to go light on you, Tim, since it's your first time. <laughs> go with a hacksaw instead. I can already play the theme from the movie Jaws. If you would look at a house construction where they only pour the concrete base, and then you would say, I wouldn't want to live in a house without walls. <laughs> That's basically the state of this vibraphone, right? Yeah, but the living room looks a little bit drafty. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so you, you've seen me working on this for three days straight. Look at the difference on the machine. You don't see any difference. <laughs> the tough thing with this machine is that like, before I had doubts in the process, I had doubts if it was going to work or not. 
And uh, when the drums worked, I don't have those doubts anymore. Now my doubt is if it's a good idea or not. <laughs> Why don't I just use normal music instruments? <laughs> also equals more moment of inertia. Equals tighter music. Equals... <laughs> you know what this is called? Personality. Well done, Marble Machine X. You start to sound like the industrial monster I wanted you to be. <laughs> it's growing up, the little one. <laughs> it's so stupid and cool. You also see that I burned the felt with the welds. <laughs> okay, let's test channel two. Spot on. So where is channel one? Uh, not so good. Hiya! The last one. So that oh. means you're done. I'm sorry I didn't bring in the champagne. Oh. I can get a high five. So if there's any children at home watching this, I'm going to make you real jealous right now. The best thing about being grown up is that you're allowed to draw directly on your own tables. <laughs> I use technical acetone to clean the surface of the plate. Marius told me I had to do this, so my marks will disappear on the top side here now. This gives me instant headaches. <laughs> if there's any kids watching, this is the great thing with becoming a grown-up. You can do paint by numbers with liquid latex. I just got an idea. What if... I learned to say idea, by the way. So just as I was getting closer to a mirror finish, I dropped the piece and this leg broke right off. Check out this tree. So this tree is actually a strawberry tree. This is a strawberry. <laughs> it's called a strawberry tree. You can eat it. Four out of 10. What do you like my Marie Kondo project? <laughs> I found some stuff that didn't spark me joy. World premiere, symbol played by the programming system on the Marble Machine X. Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> Do you know why you're not TIG welding plywood? No. That wouldn't be wise. <laughs> oh, yes. So if there's any kids watching, this is one of the good things with becoming a grown-up. You can screw into your own table. Making some use of Wilson here. He loves to help. All the way in, holding close to the edge, bending down to Wilson. So I get perfect bends with no measuring and no guesswork. I'm going to manufacture the 22 marble gates. I think I say manufacture to sound cool. I should just say make. <laughs> Welcome to the plot twist. We need to talk. This is a talking chair. Every time you see me putting the talking chair out, you know things are about to get serious. Uh, I'm going to redo all this. <laughs> I'm going to start over.
close. And I ran into a problem with this operation. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video. <laughs> what? Thank you.